Hello everybody and thanks for checking out my review. Today I'll be reviewing the Tissot T-Touch Solar Connect. Now this is going to be a short review video with unboxing and walkthrough. I'll also be doing a much longer, more thorough, detailed review to walk you through the setting everything up and walking you through all the settings and modes in full detail. So click the I on the top right of the screen for the link to that video. Now before I get into it, if you like this review, please click the thumbs up, click the logo on the bottom right hand of the screen to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications of future reviews, and feel free to leave any questions or comments or feedback in the comments comment section, I read and respond to them all. Alright, so getting into the packaging of the watch, you have a simple white sleeve with the TISO logo on the top here, you have the barcode on the side with titanium black dial, and then you have basic radio information and computer information on the back, along with a barcode for the manual, and opening up the sleeve, TISO logo on the top once again with red highlights, nice textured black box on the bottom, and you open it up, you get your watch and the paperwork, and putting the watch aside for a moment, you have detailed information as far as warranty and information on the watch and care and maintenance. You have the quick start guide, which has no wording in here. It's just basically an illustration on how to get started. Then you have the two-year international warranty card. And going underneath the box, you have your charger. Works with magnets, of course. And the nice thing about it, it's got USB-C and USB. And there's what it looks like. And then, of course, got a tag on the watch and the watch itself. Now, Apple's Watch OS and Google's Wear OS are good for one to two days of battery life. Tissot's Solar Connect is good for six months battery life, and it's charged through solar power on the top three quarters of the screen, and you could charge it using the included charger. Now, to me, this is the beginning of something that could be revolutionary if Tissot markets this correctly. This is a brand new technology. Right now, at the time of the making of this video, it's available exclusively in Switzerland, and they're releasing it throughout Europe very soon and it's not gonna be widely available in the USA until summer of 2021. So the T-Touch Solar Connect is made of titanium. It's available in titanium bracelet as I have here, or it's also got the silicon strap with the buckle. It's also available on black PVD, black PVD with orange writing, and then gold PVD color as well. Now it features tactile scratch resistant sapphire touch screen crystal. It's got the signed crown with the two buttons to navigate the modes and the settings. And then in the back, you have the fiberglass reinforced plastic for charging through and Bluetooth reception. Now the ceramic bezel, it's non-moving with the compass markers on it. The bezel is ceramic, but it's not just for the look, but it's got function to it. Uh, the antenna sits below it. Now the Bluetooth type is not listed, but it does work with iPhone and Android. I am surprised that they went with the plastic back versus ceramic like the bezel or sapphire like what's used on other smartwatches. My experience with the distance from the phone so far to the watch is that you pretty much have to be in the same room. Uh, it loses connection after about 10 feet or so. Watch OS and Wear OS tend to keep their connection better because they connect to Wi-Fi when Bluetooth loses the connection. This really is a nice looking watch though. The bracelet, as you can see here, it's got the brushed look with the polished, fully polished inner links. And then of course you have the T for the TSO on the clasp. It's got the push button open. And then it's also got the dive extension. Sizing is really easy. It uses the uh, pin system. And of course you have the two micro adjustments here, so this way you can fine tune it. And links are very uh, thin, so it's really easy to get uh, the fine tuned size that you're looking for for your wrist. The watch is 100 meter water resistant. The size is 47.5 millimeters wide, 47.5 millimeters long. It's 15.3 millimeters thick, and the lugs are 23 millimeters for the straps. The analog hands move around the dial with the modes or move out of the way when you're using the display and the hands in the ceramic bezel have a nice bright loom as you can see here. So setting up the watch is easy. Uh, the first thing you want to do is download the Tissot T-Connect app to your phone. You create an account, you build your profile, and then you connect to the watch. So getting the watch to wake up, all you have to do is press the button here. And when you first purchase it, you have to press it for five seconds to get it to start up. Uh, but once it's in sleep mode, all you have to do is push the button and the hands in the second hand move right into action. And then of course you see the screen on the bottom. 
All right, so now I'm gonna get into the settings and the modes of the watch. Uh, it's real easy to work with, so all you have to do to be able to get into them is you can navigate, of course, with the buttons, with the crown, and your finger and touching the screen, of course. So to start it off with, you press the button for two seconds, and it moves the hands out of the way so you have full access to the screen. And then what you're able to do is basically go around the screen and go to whatever mode you're looking to work with. So I'm gonna start off here working in the timing section. And when I go into the timing section, it gives me the options of chronograph, stopwatch, of course, uh, countdown timer, and alarm. So if I go into the chronograph, I press the button, and that gets me into the stopwatch area. So all I have to do to start it is press the top button to start it. I press the top button to stop it, and then I could reset it using the bottom button. And then if I wanted to get back, you just press the back button, and that brings you to go back into where I can choose the timer. I go into the timer, and to be able to set it, all I do is press the crown, and I could change it by the hour, press it again, I could change it by the minute, or the seconds. And once you have it set, you press the crown, and then you press the top button to get it started, press the top button again to stop it, and then of course you press the bottom button to reset it, and then you press the back button again, and now I can go into the alarm, and I press the crown, and I press the crown real quick, and it allows me to disable it, modify it, or delete it. So if I go into the modify, this is where I can get into the settings. So if I wanted to go into 6 o'clock a.m., so I press the crown, let's go to 6.30, press it again, and I could choose for it to go once on weekdays or all days, or I could personalize it. So if I just want to do weekdays, now it'll just go Monday to Friday. I can add alarm here. And now I could disable, modify, delete. We're good to go. I press the back button, and the alarm is set. So now I go into the navigation area, and that's my compass. So I press the confirm with the crown, and... It moves nice and smooth with the action. If I press it, I could set the mode. So I can go into going with a map. I could calibrate it. Or I can go into true north mode. And once I'm there, then I can get the actual degrees of what direction I'm going to. Now, Mateo is the weather portion. It is basically the barometer, the thermometer, and you'll see the reading. You'll see that the hands have moved to the right. That basically says that it's clear out. Now, if it starts to move to the left, that means that a storm is approaching. And if I wanted to back out, then I can go to the temperature. And the temperature is accurate when you take the watch off your wrist for a couple of minutes. It's maybe about 15 minutes. And you'll see what the accurate uh, temperature reading is on the outside. So now I press the back button. And I can go into the activity. And the activity tracker is going to give me a step counter. And it's going to give me an altimeter reading. So what's nice is when you go into the application, it's going to give you your step counts. It's going to give you your calories burned. And then it'll also give you the altimeter readings to how high I went if I was going hiking. So that's a nice feature. Unfortunately, there's no GPS, but they're saying that there's a possibility in a future firmware update that it could potentially work with the GPS on your smartphone. So now we go back and we go into the connected area. And the connected is going to give me my notifications. So I can go into my... Spam, it's the holiday time, so I'm getting tons of spam, but if I want to read a particular email or text, all I have to do is press it, and I can scroll down, read it, and then once I'm done, I can clear that out, and then it'll just have me go from one to the next until I have them all cleared out. And I press the back button again. I go into the touch area, and this is my settings screen. So I have a choice of the quick settings to turn on the Bluetooth, the vibration, the airplane mode, so then I go into the regular settings here, and this allows me to navigate through the deeper settings. So that's it for the modes and the settings. All right, so to get your wrist shot, the watch is big, but with the titanium metal, it's very light, and then with the curved lugs, it makes it wear a lot smaller than it actually is. Now, I have seven and a half inch wrists, so here is a wrist shot. And it's very comfortable to wear.
So that's it for the TSO T-Touch Solar Connect. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like this review, please press the thumbs up. And if you really like it, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications of future reviews. Please leave feedback and questions in the comment section. I do love hearing from you guys. And of course, you can find me on Twitter at DougFNJ, where I do announce new videos that I do. And you can also find me on a great website. It's called WatchYouSeek.com. Great people, great discussion, great sales forum. I want to thank you so much again for your support. Have a great day and stay safe.